name is Serone Chelule Jason. I come from Nandi County, a place called Nandi Hills. The village is Cheptabach. And I live in Germany, a, a locality called Ferden in Lower Saxony. We do North Africa came to me as a kind of a surprise, quite a lazy one, so to speak, because there was a moment after the election in 2022 when the president announced that he was going to start the Hustler Fund. Then jokingly, I took to Twitter and I tweeted to David and Lee, don't dump money on people before you train them. You need to prepare them to know how to use the money and the value for this money and, you know, the whole financial literacy thing. And surprise, surprise, there was somebody who replied to it and said, yes, we do a similar thing to what you are describing and we do it under WeDo.Africa. I then immediately registered. I started We Do not with a family member. I picked a story from a group of young men that are doing talent hunting. So they went to a place in Sotik in Bomet and met this amazing uh, graduate teacher of Swahili and CRE who had decided to do poultry keeping and Azola uh, and, and Black Soldier Fly. The two, the last two being sustainable proteins that are very important for poultry keeping. When I saw these, I remembered, wait a minute, there was something I had registered a year ago. So I called her. Because when I called her the first time, I said, I'm not promising you money. I'm calling you from Germany. I've seen your story, but I'm not promising you money. And she was like, oh my God, I was expecting money. And we wrote a proposal and then we submitted. It was accepted. And the coach came. That's how we started. And what uh, Hyvin, a teacher of Swahili and, and CRE did was she went out of her way to establish her poultry and expand the poultry business. She also expanded the black soldier fly rearing business. What I thought was innovative about it was the fact that it was not a loan. Here was we do say, give us an idea, show its sustainability, show that it can create jobs. We're going to give you money, but before we do that, we're going to send you somebody to discuss with you the, uh, the business idea, uh, stress test it and see whether it makes sense and confirm that you actually exist. And this is refreshing. They're sort of out of the box thinking that some of the coaches bring and the passion that you see with them is to me what makes the difference. The German government is saying, we are going to refund your taxes. But we do it innovatively. We give this money back to you, but we are going to do it in a way that is going to help your family so that after some time you can be free from, hey, send me 100 euros, send me 50 euros. My mother is not feeling well. My grandfather is not feeling well. Or my uncle needs whatever it is. The message that I would like to give to my fellow diasporans is do not waste this opportunity. And I really want to thank GIZ the German government and, and we do, uh, you know, for this generous uh, gesture. I don't think there is any other development partner that is doing this. Uh, and I get I get questions from people in Australia, in the US, in the UK, because UK is not part of it. And they ask me, can we be part of this? And I say, well, unfortunately you can't because it's a German driven process. And the only thing you can do is because you are abroad, you speak the language of people abroad, speak to your friends in Germany so that they can take up the challenge. Sorry.